Welcome to WGSN. WGSN is a subscription database of reports on fashion trends and forecasting from locations all over the world. To access the library website from the main CCAD website, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Packard Library. You can also type CCAD Library in your favorite search engine. Bookmark the site for easy access. From there, go to Research, Databases A to Z, click on S through W, and scroll to WGSN. If you're accessing databases from off-campus, you'll need to sign in. Type in your last name, your student ID number that starts with 2CCAD, and click on the Sign In button. Let's start on the landing page. English is the default language, but if you click on the EN in the upper right, you can choose from Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. If you want to save what you find, create a WGSN account. Click Log In, then on Create a New Account. Type in your information and hit Submit. You must do this when you are on the CCAD campus. Your account will expire if you have not used it in 90 days. To renew an expired account, log in when you're on the CCAD campus, and it should renew. If not, reach out to WGSN support. To get back to the main screen, click on the WGSN logo in the upper left. The black navigation bar contains the modules available, but we only subscribe to the fashion module and the city by city guide. The white navigation bar lets you navigate the sections of the module you're in. Let's go through the fashion module one by one. First is Future Strategies, which has a content calendar, a macro forecast, and product forecast. Market is divided by segment. And seasons cover both past and future seasons. Research and Create includes catwalk pictures, color design capsules, intelligence, information on materials, and textiles. Let's look at Design Capsule and open one of the reports. It includes images, color moods, and other resources on the theme. The next drop-down is for categories of fashion items like accessories, denim, and apparel. And under Buying and Retail, you can find analytics and brand sourcing information. All reports are gathered under the Report tag. You can limit using these drop-downs, so it's a centralized way to access the reports. There's also a feed, which is like an Instagram feed, and has frequent updates. You can click on an item or the hashtag to browse through similar posts. You can also go directly to their image resources. There's a catwalk gallery and live images of catwalks. There's a street style section and the main image library. You can filter by different categories or just browse. I'm going to click on vintage since I'm interested in vintage clothes. You can filter your results. I love the 1930s, so I'll search by era. There are clothes, furnishings, items from antique fairs, and a vintage pattern. I love vintage sewing patterns, so I'll click on that one. If you find an image you like, you can crop the image and save or download it. Under the last dropdown are the design resources. You can use their color libraries, which include Pantone swatches, original artwork, and design components. You can build your own color palette and you can see original graphics and prints. The last thing I want to show you is the City by City Guide. This features fashion and lifestyle information on cities around the world. You can choose from core cities, cultural research, or inspiration cities. I'll click on Taipei. The guide gives you general information on the location, a map overview of the city, plus information about neighborhoods, people, fashion, and retail-related venues and other information for the traveler, even if you're only traveling there via your mood board. That's a brief overview of the WGSN database. If you have questions, visit the library, call us, or email us at library at ccad.edu.